My last video is quite popular, it has almost 20,000 views, that's big for this channel. In the video I introduced a development board, a tiny and affordable ESP32C6 board made by Wayshare, and many people have already ordered it from Amazon or from the Waveshare site and few of them have asked for help. The ESP32C6 can be still tricky to work with and it doesn't seem to be supported by TFT SPI library, however we can use LVGL instead. In my examples I used Squareline Studio to design user interface and in this video I will show you how to set up LVGL, how to create simple UI with Squareline Studio and how to tra transfer that UI to your board. I will show you how to start with your board. Stay tuned. So first we are gonna visit waveshare.com because here we can find useful files. We can find our board in this section Arduino related slash ESP32 and we go board kits ESP32. Waveshare produced many interesting boards but here is ours ESP32C6 very affordable and very good for this price. I will open this here we have some information by the way this is my example this is also very useful information for later projects but at the end of page I can find this wiki site Wikipedia and here when we open this we can find instru instructions how to install Arduino IDE which ESP32 boards we need to install and most important again at the end we will find this demo and we will download this and here it is on my desktop it is zip file so I will extract it and I have here my extracted files I can delete this zip files so inside this folder we have Arduino folder and here we have examples and a libraries first we will use these libraries and we will install in our PC which is very simple and it is very easy you just need to copy these to your documents Arduino libraries and you need to paste these two libraries here but first you I will delete my old LVGL library and lvgconf.h so I will make sure I don't have old version of lvgl and config file and I will just paste those two there are only two libraries one is png decoder but most important is lvgl okay now let's go to examples so we will go to Arduino examples and we have this LVGL Arduino example which you can run and play with but I will show you how to make your own example I will open this example and I will copy everything from it because I will use those files not not every, not all of them, are, but I will use some of them, so I will copy everything. And on desktop I will make my project map, new folder, new year project, new year project. Inside that map I will copy all the, those files. And now 
for basic project I will need only these two files which are basically driver for display and these two files which are basically <laughs> which will set up our LVGL these six files I will delete LVG example C++ and H SD card C++ and H and wireless I will delete them because I don't need them when you have a map called new year project then Arduino file Eno file needs to have same name so I will write new year new year project I will open Arduino and first you make sure that you have ESP32 boards latest version so you will go here to boards manager 32 and here you need to have a latest version i have 2.17 so i will update mine to 3.1 because if you have a version which is less than 3 uh, esp32 c6 will not be available here and and now when version 3.1 is installed i can find my board here esp32 c6 keep in mind that flash size needs to be 4 megabytes partition same also 4 megabytes and now in code we don't need sd card for now we don't need lvgl example we just need driver and lvg configuration files we will not do flash test we will not as sd card in it wireless test or these lvg examples this is our basic code we need just this and now it's time to make something in square line studio and connect our user interface with this code but first in our new year project i will create new map which is ui here we will export our files i can go to square line studio i my version is 1.4.1 i will choose create arduino arduino with tft spi and now we need to choose our folder i will choose my project folder which is new year project not this folder root folder new year project select folder resolution of our board is 172 by 320 color depth is 60 bit and we go to no not just yet we need to choose dark side we always choose dark side because it looks better and here we can put some label maybe i was too fast click i will add label here i can happy new year and we can add some spinner so it can spin uh, let's try change color yellow spinner maybe some button check box okay let's say we are happy with our user interface and now 
First, what is very important, we'll go to File and Project Settings and we need to choose this, Flat Export to Flat Export all files to one folder and we will go to Apply. Then we need to go Export and Export UI files and here we need to choose folder where we want to export and I want to export to this file I created user interface to this folder not file and export is success so now in new year project folder I have few more folders and I have my, my user interface files here I will copy all of them and I will paste them here every time you export your user interface in this folder you will find new files you will copy them and paste them and they will replace old user interface files and now we can go back to our code now we have more files here and first we need to include this file our user interface user interface dot h and now we need to call this function so here we need UI init function and that's it we can now connect our board find its port and go to upload to see will will there be any errors and that's it you have your first small user interface on waveshare c6 board thank you for watching whole video tell me what you think tell me do you want more tutorials like this one if this video was helpful feel free to support my work to buy me coffee to become my patron to be member to to watch more videos to leave like shares and to write nice comments thank you have a nice day and uh, happy new year tomorrow is new year happy new year